Hello everybody, my name is Edwin and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. In this video series, we're going over GitLab, its features. We're building a workflow slash pipeline for a small to medium sized organization using practical examples, something that you can just get your hands into and build yourself and then have for your organization. In the last video, we went over PyTest and coverage reports and we built a uh, CICD pipeline in GitLab to automate these tests for us. In this video what we're going to be doing is going over creating a uh, pipeline or some jobs to run a type checker for Python to make sure that our code is typed correct. Uh, Python isn't a strongly typed language but it's always good to have something that we can uh, no is kind of correct, you know, we, we do some type checking on it. And then we're also going to do some linting to make sure that our code is following some sort of uh, coherent styling guide. So let's get into that. I put those two issues into my board and I'm also going to um, grab those issues and own them to myself. So let's start with uh, my pie that'll be the easier one what I'm going to do is first I'm going to create a merge request we didn't do this in the last video but in this video I'm going to try and do this the correct way so I'm going to say that I am going to start on this issue and comment it there Okay, let's get started here. So the first thing that I'm gonna wanna do is to make sure that I'm on the correct branch. I'm here in repository and files, and I click down on this drop down menu and make sure that I'm on the right branch. This is the branch that was created when we made our merge request. I'm gonna open up our web IDE and take another look to make sure that I'm on the correct branch up here. And I am, and I'm going to open up our gitlab.yaml. So I'm going to start working here. I'm going to call our job type test. I'm going to put it in the stage test. I'm going to use that same image of Python 9.3. I'm going to define our scripts. I'm going to install MyPy. That is the type checker um, module or program that we're going to use, and we're going to install that off. Uh, PIP and I'm going to run MyPy on source. That is the directory where we have all of our code. And then this extra line here that we don't have anywhere else is I'm going to allow failures. This means that if this pipeline or this job fails, it's still going to continue on through the pipeline. It's just going to give us a warning instead of uh, outright stopping the pipeline. This is good for the type checker just because um, you know you might get some type errors but this is in a strongly typed language so if there is a type error it shouldn't be a huge game breaker for us um, this is just for our sanity later on down the road when we have everything um, set up properly we might want to um, disable the allow failures all right so everything looks good here my perspective so I'm going to hit the commit button it's going to push up to the correct branch here and I'm going to type a message here now and I'm going to hit commit and you can see here our pipeline is going to start running this is going to happen you can define pipelines to run um, when you're pushing to individual branches like you could say I only want things to run when they run on master but by default, it's going to run on every single commit. And you can see we already got a warning in the type check. Uh, failed to pull image Python. <laughs> well, there we, we have a bug right there. There is no such thing as Python 9.3. So we're going to have to go back here. And we want 3.9. And we'll just do another commit. But this is actually a good learning experience. You can see that even though this pipeline failed, our other tests are going to still run. And we've paused this one now that a new pipeline is running. 
Another thing that you can notice here is that these two jobs are running in parallel, right? Um, nothing is stopping uh, one job from doing the other job's work. This is the good thing about putting them into their own jobs, right? If my unit tests were going to take, you know, 10 minutes and uh, my type check was only going to take one minute and maybe linting my code was only going to take three minutes, then running these in parallel would be nice because I'll get my type check and um, my linting done while my unit tests run and they're not going to block each other. And both of them passed. Take a look at my type test. And you see it stalled my pie. It successfully ran and it ran it on one source file. All right, so now we can go into our merge request. If you want to be super correct, I'll, I'll do this the right way. I'm, I'm trying to put in good practices. So we go into development here, move this MyPy one in here, and we have our merge request. All the tests passed. I would put myself as a reviewer just uh, to be totally correct. Mark this as ready. I can give this a nice little thumbs up. We'll squash the commits, you know. Um, squashing the commits uh, just means that we're going to take all the commits and squash them into one commit. And deleting the source branch, we don't want all these branches laying around, so I'm going to delete the source branch. Let's merge that in. And our pipeline is going to run again. It's running again because now it's testing this on the master branch. But while that's baking, let's go back to our board. And let's do the placate pipeline. I want to create a merge request for this. We're going to create a new branch. I'm going to add the reviewer right off the bat. Let's make you tell everybody on the team that you are working on this. And let's open this in Web IDE. You can go straight to the Web IDE from here. And it'll open it on the proper branch. You can see that now we only we still only have two branches because one branch was deleted. So in here, I'm going to call it lint test. It's still going to be part of that testing stage. Let's put the proper Python version in this time. Add our scripts. And I'm also going to allow failures on this test here. If our code isn't meeting our style guide, you don't necessarily need to fail here. And it's also nice because you can always go back and fix these broken styles later. It's not really the best practice. You want to have the cleanest, most good looking code inside of your mainline branch, but sometimes uh, that's not really uh, practical. Um, I have um, some code bases that were made by somebody else that's thousands of lines of code. And to be honest, you know, they had awful styling practices and I, I don't want to clean up their code, right? I should, but sometimes you don't want to have to do that. So I'm going to allow failing here. Now there is one more thing that I'm going to want to do for Flakegate. Flakegate um, really likes to pick up uh, files that, or read through files that um, you don't really want. So it's nice to just add a exclude directory in here. So I'm going to create the talks exclude and I'm just going to copy and paste it in. Uh, I can go over this. I have a lot of stuff in here like bin include lib share lib 64 python environment config and then also I have duplicates of those um, with different casing. So these are virtual environments. Um, we can get into Python virtual environments in another video, but it's a way of um, making one configuration of a Python install 
um, that way your package and dependencies don't kind of clash with other projects that you're working on. I do the same thing but for the Windows style, so this is Linux style and then on Windows it's uppercase scripts and uppercase lib and uppercase include and then I also exclude the PyCache. Uh, an export directory which is just specific to one project that I'm working on so I'm gonna actually remove that one um, the mypy cache uh, a source directory and in it and so actually oh um, yeah I exclude the source uh, underscore underscore in it underscore underscore I don't think we have one in this project but um, I, I don't want Flightgate reading that and also a setup.py. We don't have a setup.py in the script, but it's nice to you know keep that out of there. And we can look at everything again. It's lagging a little bit here, but it looks like we're good here. Flightgate, good. Our lint test is good. So I am going to commit this change. Okay, and end it there. And a nice little feature here is that we can look through um, the code that is actually going to be commit and look at the differences. So in here, we're adding all of that, and then in here, we're just adding that. So I'm going to commit that, and it's going to start off another pipeline. And as you can see, we have three different pipelines running. Two of them are actually paused right now, which is a little bit worrying. But it looks like they're running now. All of them are running. You can see here as well, all of them are running. And we have only one stage inside of our uh, jobs. Let me go back. So it looks like our lint test gave us an error. So let's see what happened here. And we do have some issues inside of our code. Um, we can see here that main.py expected two blank lines after a class or function declaration. Um, our unit test expected two blank lines and no new line at the end of our file. So it found some issues, but also just because it is a um, we allow failures here. So it passed, but um, we allow some sort of failure in here. So I could still merge this in and it would be all right. So let's just be correct here and go back into our board, put this into in review. Now our reviewer can go in here, look at our merge request. It does say that, hey, the pipeline did pass with warnings but uh, I looked at those warnings and I really don't care right now. We'll fix them in the next commit. So I'm gonna merge them in and our pipeline is gonna run again and everything is all right and good with the world. So we only have three issues left. I think we're gonna get these done in the final page or in the <laughs> We'll get these done in our final video on CICD pipelines. I hope you guys like this video. If you like this kind of content, please remember to subscribe so our videos show up in your feed. Um, if you also like this video, it's good to give it a like button, you know, uh, it helps out the algorithm. And also, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll try to get to them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.